This video is also about rhythm rows, but the difference is that we're adding time signatures, and we have these time signatures. This is 4-4. Four, four. We have 5-4, 2-4, four, 2-4, four, and 3-4. And they all come in the rhythm and composition collection boxes with all the wooden pieces. And then I also set out some of these other pieces that you can use. These are slurs, these are ties, staccatos, dynamic symbols, forte, and then you can use the M for the mezzo forte, piano, you can use mezzo piano. If you want, you could use two Ps for pianissimo, or there's three Ps for pianissimo. Um, there's a lot of, there's a, this is a repeat sign. There are two dots in there. I'll get started with 4-4. Four, four. So I'll put the time signature over on the left here. So I'm going to build four measures so that it's not too long. And as I build, I'm going to pretend that I'm the student and the teacher will be writing down the student's work as the student creates. So four measures. We're going to start off when we get to four beats. Remember, three inches is three beats. So when we get to four beats, this is a dotted half note, so there's three beats. Here is two eighth notes. So here is a bar line right there. We have one measure here. Then I'm going to create a second measure. We have a dotted quarter note and an eighth note here. So that's two beats. Now I have four sixteenth notes. One beat. So three beats. And I will do a rest, quarter rest. So we have four beats. And I'm going to get another bar line here. So we have two measures. Okay. In this cubby, there are all the rhythm pieces that are two beats. So I'm gonna grab one that's a half note. Put that there. And I'm gonna grab another one that is a dotted quarter and an eighth note. Put that there. Grab another bar line. So now I have three measures. And then the fourth measure I'll use the whole note. And then I get the double bar for the end. And then when you're done, you do the same procedure that you do in the last video that I shot with rhythm rows, where you take the book with, all, with the rhythm row that's written out. You take it to the piano, you turn the metronome on, and you do the two rhythms at a time with the metronome, you say the rhythm words, and so forth. Another option that is kind of fun, if you have a xylophone handy, I love this, you um, can, where's my metronome, one second. Okay, you turn, grab a metro, uh, xylophone, and you turn your metronome. 50 is the best because it's slow. And so you turn your metronome on. Remember, first you want to say the rhythm words with the metronome for two rhythms. So I'm going to start. I use the rhythm words with my, the the metronome ball counting chart. Bounce, hold, dot, bouncing. Now I'm going to use it with the xylophone. I don't know if you can see this. Bounce, hold, dot, bouncing. 
And that went well, so I'll do it four more times. Or th yeah, four more times. Bounce, hold, dot, bouncing. Okay, let's move along here, and I'm going to do the next two rhythms. I'm going to say them first. Bounce, dot, and watermelon. That went fine, so I'm going to do it with the xylophone and the metronome and my words. Bounce, dot, and watermelon. Oh, I forgot the xylophone. Oops. Bounce, dot, and watermelon. With each rhythm, you usually move to the next key or finger or whatever. So I'm going to do that again. Bounce, dot, and watermelon. Here's another thing you could do. Bounce, dot, and watermelon. That's kind of fun to just keep going up the scale. Okay, so we would normally do some more reps with that, but I'm going to move on. Now we have a rest. I'm, we're going we're gonna to count that rest. <laughs> Sometimes we have to practice rests. We're going to practice that rest with the next rhythm, which is a half note, which we say bounce, pull. Okay, so we're going to say those two rhythms with the metronome. Rest, bounce, hold. Okay, that went fine. Rest, bounce, hold. Rest, bounce, hold. Okay, I don't think we need to practice that one anymore. Let's go on to the next two rhythms, which are the dot a quarter and eighth note, which I say bounce, dot, and. And then I have a, a whole note, which is bounce, two, three, four. So I'm going to say that. Bounce, dot, and bounce, two, three, four. Now I'm going to put that with the xylophone. Bounce, dot, and bounce, two, three, four. Okay, I'm ready to do the whole rhythm row. And I'm going to start on the xylophone down on C. Ready, go. Bounce. Hold, dot, bouncing, bounce, dot, and watermelon rest. Bounce, hold, bounce, dot, and bounce, two, three, four. We're going to add another one to end it. Okay, so there's your rhythm row. And if a student needs to spend a little extra time working on the, maybe the, four sixteenths, just to get it on the metronome, that's a good idea. Get the rhythms to be on the metronome, get it so that there's no extra clicks, you know all that. And that's that.